Hey, it's Chris Menard. Let me show you how to calculate the number of years, months, and days between two dates. You can do this exercise from scratch, plus I'll have it on my website. Uh, go to cell B1, and the first function we're going to do is equals today. Open parent. That'll put in today's date, and tomorrow it'll say the 14th. <clears throat> go down and put some employee names in. Type in some higher dates. Doesn't matter what dates you type in. And then wind up doing these functions right here. And just to test this, if you notice, this person down here, 12, 13, 99 is 17 years, which is exactly right. So here are the functions that I use to do this. Equals dated if, open parent, the start date, comma, end date, comma, what is it I'm looking for? If I'm looking for the number of years, I'm going to do the letter Y in quotes. And that will give you the number of years. And there's the function right there. And then let's fix this so we can use it. I'm going to click between the B and the 5 and hit the F4 function key. So it's dollar sign B5. Cell B1 needs to be absolute reference. So just press F4 once and then press enter. So now what I can do is pull this over. and change this to the letter M. We'll tell you the number of months. Change that to the letter D. So here are the functions again. There are the years. There's the months. I know that it's on 185. I'll come back to that. And there's the days. But what I want to really show right here under months is the number of months after the 15 years. So change that to, in quotations, YM. And so 15 years, 5 months, and then change this to MD. So it's going to do the number of months, then the number of days. By the way, if you just did YD, it would do the number of days since this year. So it needs to be MD in my example. So quick review, we did the today function, will automatically change. We did the years, um, B5 is a mixed reference, B1 is absolute, years, year, month, month, day. Highlight them all, crosshairs, autofill, drag them down, and then I'm going to just test it real quick, 12, 13, 2016 should give me all zeros, and it does. 12, 12, 2016, one day, that's working. And then let's go put in this person's actual day again. I don't remember what it is. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is. It's working. So that's how you calculate the number of years, months, and days. This will be great for human resource people, supervisors, and I'll have this on my website also, this actual file. Thanks.